doesn't matter. Start again. Starting again. Here we go again, <laughs> part two. <laughs> Llegamos de nuevo and the we're same back shit. with another episode we're of the podcast. Today is June 11th. June 11th episode 2022, yeah. bro. That's true. We should say the year. I didn't think that I would ever, like, I must have been a dumb kid. I didn't think about anything, no, huh? No, I didn't think about it either. I didn't think about most things, I guess. I like didn't think about the, the year. year 2022. Never yeah, even I didn't think about, about nothing. I didn't even think about what to be when I grew up, you know, until like later. Like, for yeah. real, real. Like, who's. 12 and actually deciding what they're gonna be everyone decided to be a cop because they make them look cool on tv you know everyone wanted to be and a doctor the because costumes. your parents always told you that they made a lot of money but same thing with the lawyer the Halloween costumes. yeah They're the like cheap ones. ones yeah the cheap ones that's why the they, accessible ones the cheap ones the cool halloween costumes <laughs> you know hard to find i remember wanting yeah. to dress up i think it was like batman like but I wanted to be like But not like a, a goofy one No, like, not that like shit real, Que tu la haces así yeah. en el cartón No, I wanted like a real <laughs> Batman suit And my dad, uh, he said Your chin though, you can't, you can't do nothing about your chin Your chin? Yeah, because it's gotta be white To be Batman Yeah, but if you have a beard No, you can't be Batman Batman, Batman don't have no beard. He doesn't have a beard. Nope. Yeah. Batman don't have no beard. Batman is clean faced, okay. white chin. Okay. That's how the cops know. Good one. <laughs> Go. You know? So yeah. yeah, I was never Batman. I've I've thought about doing like a like a cool Spider Man one, you know? A Spider Man Halloween costume. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should plan it in advance. Wait, we're starting right now. Yeah, because sometimes we wait. We literally wait until the day that we're going to a Halloween event. To whatever, to yeah. To decide what so we're So what are we going to be for Halloween? I don't even know. Well, you want to be Batman. Nope. Don't want to be Batman. Spider-Man. Should I be... Gwen? Spider-Girl? Spider-Woman? Spider-Lady? Spider-Girl? No, but I feel like I should be the your partner. Who the fuck? Jane. Mary Jane, yeah, Mary Jane is the lover. She's the lover. Not, yeah, but she's not a spider person. So? So I'm going to be dressed as Spider-Man and you, like, normal. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You would have to be another spider person. And he has lovings with other spider people. Yeah, well, that's true because I and could cat, be... And cat, cat, silver cat or I'll some shit. I'll play a spider girl. There you go. Isn't she, like... Not Catwoman. I know you're thinking about the, Catwoman. No, it's part of the multiverse, though. There's a whole bunch of different spider people, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but the one in, the, into the Spider Verse, okay? There's Spider Man, and then there's the the white girl with the with the cool haircut. When? Yeah. You remember? Oh, That's yes. what I'm talking about. Okay. You could be her. They sell I'll her suits at the Okay. There you go. We gotta look for it now, though. Yeah, I need a form-fitting suit, like a oh, suit no. that makes the form. You know. You know what I just thought of? Cause I'm thinking we're home making it. Uh huh. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh man, Junior, you're gonna look ridiculous. Homemade, bro. But well, if we take the time and we actually find it and we plan for it, maybe we can find your really nice. Yeah, one. I don't think I'm ever gonna give my child a homemade like Why? costume unless no, he wants yes, to do we it. Are. Nah, man. Well, here I am saying, like, if it's gonna be mine. Si, tú, it, it, it might be yours. <laughs> y la pendeja es que tú, tú eres vaga I'm también. I'm gonna do homemade. Yeah, but you lazy too. No, but too. nice homemade. I do what? nice things, true. Not costumes. I've always done nice costumes. God, Last year, my that. costume was, but that's because it, we were following a the theme. What was the theme? Medical. Medical? It was a medical what the fuck theme. Are you talking? Oh, my costume was great. I don't yeah. even remember what the fuck you had on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I remember me. I do not remember you. What were you wearing? I was a botched plastic surgery patient. Ah, uh, so stupid. <laughs> that sounds stupid, bro. But you probably did it cool, but like I mean, I, I did always it said, cool, it, but like, it sounds stupid. Not memorable easy, though. No, it wasn't. Because I don't remember. It wasn't. I remember you. Yeah, because I was memorable. What was yeah, I? Yeah, you were I? the part in the Joker when he goes to um, the kids. The kids' hospital, the children's yeah, hospital. Yeah, he's in a medical he's jacket. He's in a like a, a white yes, coat. I was gonna say a nurse's coat. I guess 
right, yo, bro, when I can't be a doctor, I gotta be a nurse, that's what you think of me, huh? It's not you, it's the character. Right, I'm playing the character. No, yeah, stupid. Yeah, I am him, he is me. No, Junior, it's the, literally, it's what he did in the character. It's funny, it was funny, yeah. In the movie. It worked out. I remember yeah. looking great. I don't remember what you look like at all. And my, I only so remember funny. what I looked like that night. I don't remember what anyone else <laughs> had on. It must have been a good night. I don't remember shit. That's funny. It was. That was a while ago, huh? Last, not even. Last year, but it's not oh, even so a year. Oh, so a couple year. months. Yeah. Well, how long am I supposed to hold on to memories? Um, Who says that you have to hold them on for so long? Nobody. Well, nobody, but you should remember it's certain no, things. Mera, you remember. I'm, Your brain should be big enough to remember certain well, things. That's a malfunction. Don't act like that. I normal. am like no. a phone. Whenever I get a new phone, you know what I do? Erase. Brand new Erase. everything. I know. Everything that was on the old phone. Gone. Adios. I cannot do that. I keep my. I don't phones. give a fuck, man. I what? keep my phone. I, I, phones. I, hate I like that. to like, be. Now it's a thing that we return. I think that there's something about all of us that should remain a little primitive. You know, like, yeah. like it's Can cool I stop for some you for people. A second because what? we didn't even, we didn't say the the shout out. The shout out, oh, we got a shout out. I well, we can say it any time. We don't have to do it in the I beginning. I want to say it in the beginning to entice people to keep watching it okay. until the end. If okay. nobody listens to the end and they don't know that we announced it at the end, nobody's going to ever know. You're right, okay. But I wanted to do it in my We're intro. shouting out a motherfucker I want to shout that said the name. Henry the, Gomez. Said because he said, yeah, you remember the word? I remember, yeah. Oh, I wasn't even going to remember the word, but I, I did see? it. See? I remember something. So he listened to the very end of our YouTube video. Or he fast forwarded. We don't know. Oh my. <laughs> we don't know what he did, but we hope that Well, he you know what? Thing. Now that you said that, the secret word is going to be sprinkled throughout the episode. No, we're okay. Not doing that. Why? It's going to be at the end. Why? But we don't know where at the end. It's going to be within the last 10 minutes. Why would you say that? Because then people could just fast forward. Yeah, but we don't know. Even if they fast forward, the view counts for us. Broop, broop. I see that. Fuck oh y'all. We God. winning. <laughs> anyway. We winning. Thank you, Henry Gomez. Henry Gomez, Bugatti, motherfucker. Okay, it. chévere. What the fuck were we talking about, bro? It doesn't matter. We're going on back. Um, we saw Jurassic Park. No, what, what were we just talking, talking about? about? We were just talking about something. You can't just leave the fucking. We haven't Junior, even made it to the even... to the Starbucks, and you already want to ruin the the conversations. What, Junior? The intro is me. I do the intro. We talk a little bit about whatever. And then we talk about, we're going to do the shout out now. And then we talk about what we saw. We were talking about costumes. Go ahead, Junior. I remember. <laughs> we were talking about costumes. Everything that you want. We were Go talking ahead. about costumes. Your fucking rules and shit. Fuck the rules, You man. are the one that has rules. No, Actually, the... that is my rule. Yeah, that you are Those are my rules. You always gotta have rules. I'm an unruly person. I don't like I rules. I know, but then we're not gonna do anything. No, I don't like rules, eh? Don't be fucking with me and rules. You put, start putting rules on things, I start Junior, rebelling. Junior, every Papi single... Dito. Who do I sound like right now? Who do I sound like? I don't know. Seriously? Yeah. Don't I sound like Bobby Lee? In the beginning of every episode when the guest comes on and they want to do it however they want. And he's like, no, I didn't introduce you yet. No, wait, save that till no, after. No, you sound like Kalila being fucking annoying once everything has started going and then she no. tries to go back to something else. No. Yeah. Do you not know what I'm saying right now, though? Yes, I do know what you're saying. Pero... Does Bobby Lee not do that? Yes, he does it to be annoying and it's funny. No, Here, no, no, it's no, not no, funny. No. It is funny. No, it's not. Yeah, you're the only one not laughing. Exactly. Yo, I'm the only one here. I'm here too. No, it doesn't count. Yeah, you can't I say count. you're the only one not laughing and it's two people. Yes. You can't say that. I'm laughing. You're the only one not. Yeah, it's but not you're the only one us. laughing then. It's not both So, of you, yeah, yeah. that's not a good judgment of what's funny. One person laughing, another. Two <laughs> motherfuckers in a room. Trying to figure out jokes. One always laughs, one doesn't. I'm that's dying stupid. because I wasn't even laughing. Uh, you see what I'm saying? You can't judge two people. Oh, you're not even laughing. You're the only one not laughing. Motherfuckers, two of us here. Well, you are the only one not laughing. Yeah, but you're not laughing neither if you're just saying that. I know, but now I started laughing because I'm laughing. You're not even laughing. 
you deal with your dumb shit um, for the rest of my life. You saying dumb shit Forever. like this? Forever. We gotta talk about who, like, one of us saying dumb shit and who has to deal. Yeah. What is that? What did you say? Look in the mirror, Junior. What? You're the one that's always saying dumb shit. I say outrageous. I got a deal. It's not the other way around. I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that, fair day. I really don't know about what, that. What, that I got to deal with you when you're Yeah, because I feel like I just say outrageous shit. Not necessarily, the, you know, like... Like, I'm not constantly saying dumb shit. Junior, you say a lot of dumb shit. Okay. What are you doing right now? I'm looking at my drink. Will you need me for something? Oh, I don't need you. Let Junior, I'm talking the whole time. If you didn't say that, we would have continued having a conversation. See, the conversation was, I say something, you're like, yeah, repeat whatever so, you just said. Yeah, repeat You didn't say you anything said. of substance. Start talking. Right, you want to talk so much, you're not saying anything. I don't want to talk. I want to do a silent podcast with you. Okay. Okay. On the Temolo Ducky, we're just going to look at the fucking camera and see if who can I, go longer without saying anything. If I, if we had a competition of who can stay the, sh the fuck shut up longer, <laughs> who, do you, who do you think would win? I, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't, man. Yes, you would see me doing something a nope. lot. Yep. Mm -mm. If we were playing the shut up when for the longest. When we go home today. Uh -huh. When we go home we're today. We're playing. Yep. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's play. Yes. All right. When cool. we go home today, yeah. we're playing, and whoever talks to the other person first loses. Okay, perfect. Okay? I mean, perfect. How long do we got to go for? Until tomorrow morning. Okay. I'm good. I'm telling you, I'm good. I am so, I'm Me winning too. this game. No, you're not. I am, Junior. Do I got to play? Okay, here's the thing. Are we playing tricks on each other? No. Like, we're leaving each other the fuck alone. We're oh. not even acknowledging that the other person exists. Oh, okay. That's how I have it in my mind. Because I thought that I could do things, you know, to, like, make you want to talk. No. <laughs> that defeats the purpose. I want to be... I thought the point was to leave each other the fuck alone. No, the point is to see who can hold their mouth longer with ev with life just going on. Just being normal? No, not even just being normal. Like, who can actually stay the, sh the fuck shut up, you know, like, longer? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, that's the trick. Yeah, but life normal is not antagonizing the other person. Well, I do a lot of normal things in life that, to me, are normal, but to you are not. You get what I'm saying? I know. I'm the one that just finished saying that I'm the one that has to deal with you for the rest of my life. No, but you, we're talking about saying dumb shit. I'm talking about doing things. You that are would dumb make you shit talk. everything. No. In every category. <laughs> yes. No. If I get yes. hot, if I get hot, I just go to the AC and I whip on my dick and I just start it off. I eat you. I know. That's going to make you say something. I don't think so because you do that all the time. It's not shocker. I, you did that the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked at you and I was like, if this motherfucker and I end up not being together anymore. Yeah. And you invite a girl over for the first time. Yeah. And you get hot. Yep. Like, just out of pure instinct and like, auto, like automatic my pilot out. mode. Just yep. in pilot mode. You would just go with your dick out. And I was like, he's going to have a hard time. <laughs> I'll be just talking. I'm just gonna walk out of there and be, be like, "Yo, me too." We'll be just talking. Oh, you know, dinner was great. I'm like, yeah, aren't you hot? Yeah, well, well, yeah. You know, the pizza. She turns around. I like the pepperoni. And when she turns back, I'm like, "Oh, boy, I like the there. cheese better." And yeah, she they... would run out of there so fast and be like, "Yo, he's sexually assaulted." Me. I'm like, "What happened? Where are you going?" That was hot, but. No, I'm I'm kidding because that's not that. But no, I'm not. I'm not I know, kidding. I know. That's weird and creepy. But I, yeah, I've never, I, I don't think I, I've never I liked like, creepy you're people. Have a hard time. I, I I don't think that you know it would take. Well, yeah. It would take a long time in order for you to be yourself again with someone else. Of course. Yeah. Even if you're trying to not, you still kind of, you know, 
not, like put your best foot forward when you're trying to like impress somebody. Yeah, you know what I mean. At the very least, you're mm-hmm. not you're not you're not burping like you normally would. No, but and you're then holding in your farts. That's the other thing because we're like we see online all the time to be like unapologetically yourself and like people gotta love you for who you're you are. You're going more and more towards the right. Oh. Yeah. People gotta love you for who you are and be unapologetically yourself, right? And so, like, that is you. Ain't no you, one love you for you. But I'm just saying, that's you. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> ain't no one ever, so, ever gonna love what do you me for me. We, why not? No, because it's, it's impossible. It's impo- It's nearly impossible, let's put it that way, to love a person for who they are. That's nearly impossible, I would say. I guess. Yeah, you're always trying to... We talked about it. You're trying to make a person, you know, different, better, whatever the fuck you want to say. But it's nearly impossible. Love, unconditional love. Oh, I want unconditional love. No one has it. Oh, uh, everyone says... Subconsciously, we put conditions on Of course we do. Just by being together in a matrimony, that is putting a condition on it. If you love me, you marry me. Well, condition number one, okay, accept it. Tu me entiendes? Yeah. Ta cabrón. What was I saying? What were we talking about just now? (laughs) I lost it. What was it? Unconditional Unconditional love. love. Yeah, it's not not a thing. It's not a thing. That's not real. People say, oh, but God loves me unconditionally. Yeah, you know why? Do you want to know why? You want me to tell you why? (laughs) Because God is you. You are your own God. So if you forgive yourself, you God forgave you a lot. Okay, but you love yourself and you're willing to forgive yourself no matter how many fucking times because you want to think in your mind that you always want to be better. And that's cool, fine and dandy, but you ain't fooling me. Maybe you're fooling yourself. You are God. I love you. Okay, take care. That's that's just what it is. Okay, why why are we sugarcoating it? No one is gonna love another person like another flesh and being human for just being themselves a hundred percent all the time. Everything that comes with them. I don't it's know. Hard. I, it's very hard. I'm sure there's people that are able to do it. Seguro. Gente que no sabe lo que carajo está pasando en el mundo. People that don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> they I don't love know, Junior. I don't know. Yeah, man. I would love to talk to a person that doesn't know what the fuck is going on, man. A little bit of like five minutes and then I'm out. Look, I looked up a drink. I didn't even get it. De verdad, te gusta perder el tiempo. No, don't. <laughs> what is it? What's I the drink? Look. Get it. I don't want to get it, though. No, you sure? That's what I'm saying. Why? Because it's a cold drink. Oh, it's not. It's not. Cold it's not. Drink. Yeah, it's not the weather yeah. necessary for that. Whatever it is, I don't remember what temperature you call them. What? What is it? What are we talking about? <laughs> Degrees, weather? <laughs> <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> I forgot it was hot and cold. Oh my god, what the. <laughs> oh man. Fuck. I would love to own a coffee shop. Really? Yeah. You know. But in like a nice I like was just place, say, town next to a beach or as something. As a retirement thing, I would love to. Yeah. Like for retirement. Yeah, but I want to own it like and old. not work it though. I want to own it oh. and it be like the place that I can go and hang out whenever the fuck I want to. You know? Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but not work. Motherfucker comes into my shop and asks for a coffee and I'm making it. I don't think so, Lisa. I'll spit in that motherfucker yeah. if you ask me for a coffee. Yeah. You know I own this place and you're asking me for that fuck? <laughs> like Mr. Starbucks. You ever you run into Mr. Starbucks and you're like, hey, can I have a thing? You're okay. right. I was you know? thinking of a small, like... Yeah, yeah I'm thinking no, of a small thing and I hired I was two about women it to work in a it. Very different, okay. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. One is 50 and the other one's 40. Why? That's a perfect contrast. They can get along. There's not a lot of competition between okay. them. They just need a small town job. They want to do 32 hours. They don't want to do 40 because they get help from the government. Uh-huh. I understand it, Miss Rachel. It's okay. Rita. Yep. Okay. We cool. And that's the job. That's my business. Okay. You know? I love it. Closed on Sundays. Just like Chick-fil-A. Hi. <laughs> These cookies. This one is the best one. Enjoy it. Dutch. You don't agree? No, Danish. You don't agree? There's a difference? 
that the pretzel ones are the, the best? No. Which are your favorite? I don't know right now. I gotta what? taste them again. You wanna you wanna taste test them? I forget. I gotta no, taste you, them. No, you want me to eat the same ones you're having? Oh, I think this one's the best. Them? Really? Yeah. I think that one's coconut. This one's the best. No, I don't want this one. This one's coconut. What else do Danish people do? And Danish and Dutch are different things? Mm. Huh? I don't know. I was actually. Where are Danish people from? Dana? I was actually thinking about that the other day. Where are they from? Yeah. I didn't go over there. Are that. they Dutch? What do you call Dutch people? Danish? Right? I think so, Junior, and I feel very embarrassed that we don't know that. I don't feel embarrassed. Why? Well, these white uh, devils don't know what the fuck a Dominican and a Puerto Rican are. No, everybody knows DR. I DR think... is like on the map. Oh, in Puerto Rico, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you think DR people, is... People, you... the DR. People go to DR all the time. Valley, people from here that are from DR. What do you mean, people from here that are from DR? No, I'm yes. talking. No, yes. I'm talking about people where they vacation. Yeah, no. What do you mean, no? I'm a, I'm about to say. Oh first God. of all, first of all, let's settle. You think Dominican Republic is more famous than Puerto Rico? Nah. Nah. I think as a as a vacation destination spot. Oh, but that's because it's cheap. That, that's, that's, I see that as a negative. <laughs> like that people go. Yeah, there. that's not. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think Mexico is also another like one that is known internationally. Yeah, but I, my question is, which are is more famous, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic? Santo Domingo. We're talking about, we're, we're trying to think of someone from, like so, a Danish person. Would they know DR or Puerto Rico? Yes. That's what I'm saying. I think they would know DR. Fuck no. Really? Yes. I think so. Oh, really? Yeah. First thing a, 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 a Dutch bitch would say, J-Lo, Puerto Rico. I don't even know if that's their accent. No. <laughs> but I'm just saying. What are they? Why? Because what of the is, music? Because of the, I'm saying more popular in general. I think that's where people want to go vacation. No, I think most people know Puerto Rico, and most people find out about the art if they want to go on a vacation in the Caribbean. If they don't, they never know that that uh, peninsula essentially exists. Okay. But Puerto Rico, every and thank you, David Begnaud. Everyone know that we. <laughs> <laughs> everyone know about us. And put okay. it Maria? Yeah, Maria, yeah. Big hurricane, yeah, yep. Okay. Right. What is, who knows DR for anything? Vacationing. Yeah, but another thing. I don't know. Another th anything else. Anything else. Tell me. I'm waiting. I'm not trying to fight you on this. I'm Julia. not trying to fight. I'm just trying to, I'm just know. Trying to I just know. feel Coming like. Uh huh. I just feel like that's where people would vacation. So to know of. Um, you know. Yeah. I think both places are probably very similar, you know. Um, similar? Similar. What is it? I can't say how similar. I want to say it. Similar? Yeah. Okay. That's how I pronounce my second eyes. Okay. okay. That's how, I, when I see two eyes, the first one is normal eye, and the other ones are you. Okay. Okay? Can I continue? Yeah. Where was I? Both islands are very Both similar. Both islands are very similar. Yeah. I agree. I think the people <coughs> I think are culturally, very, I think Puerto Rico is there's big differences. Puerto Rico is more known culturally. But yes. in the context that we were speaking and then What context were we speaking? Cuz I said I feel embarrassed that we don't we didn't know that someone from Dutch is called Danish and we were just kind of Yeah, like what does that have that to do out. with vacationing? And you were like, "Oh, um, I don't feel bad because they don't know about 
they don't know. know the difference between a Puerto Rican and a Dominican. Yeah, and yeah. I'm say, and then I I thought about it like geographically, and I'm like, well, people know the DR. You know what I you mean? See, that's so you that like, said that. that I know. To do with what so we're that's what I'm about. saying. That it, in that context, I think it's like DR is more known. No. Like Dominican Republic. No. And then the people are Dominican. I'm sorry. Nothing against Dutch DR at all. I don't give a mean? fuck. I don't. I don't care. To me, we're all the same, right? Yeah. But you're not gonna tell me that globally, glow in the world, mm -hmm. people know more. There's a higher percentage of people that know what Dominican Republic is versus what Puerto Rico is. Mm -hmm. Being a small island in the Caribbean, we produce a lot of sex. And that's what, what the best at producing because the music is sensual. We got the, the most famous gay man in the world. We got Jennifer Lopez. It's all about, you know, putting that sex appeal. You got me. Hello. You know what I say? We're all about it. And that's just what it is. Okay. DR, I don't I don't think is is that I don't know why. I wonder why. I guess the music is is like the number one thing that you know would make it pop merengue is popular all over the world but like artists from dr that are popular all over the world is i don't know i don't know too many i think omega would be one of them right and then you got el alfa but that's even like aventura. newer aventura yeah but isn't aventura like half half like the whole band not just romeo santos and even him, isn't he half half? He's half and half. Uh, well, no, he's full Dominican, but a Puerto Rican woman raised him. I don't know. No, that's always Aldana. Um, I don't know. I thought that was his story. I'm taste testing without you because oh, you shit. don't want to eat. You see what I mean? You keep talking. <laughs> Which one did you have? The pretzel? Yeah. All right. I had the one that you said is your favorite. Let me have this one now. You know what's funny? Because they're dry and that then they're wet. The one. Okay, calm down. I have sparked me. Um, try it. I did try it. Try the other one. Can I just eat? Mmm. I said we were taste testing. Okay. I think it's so funny that you can't eat and talk at the same time. I can't. How come? Like, what happens? I want to enjoy what I'm eating, or I want to enjoy the conversation. I can't keep up. My mind can't split that. I'm trying to do it right now. I guess it is hard. So we saw Jurassic Park. No. So we saw Jurassic Park Dominion. Here's the trailer. I thought that it sucked. All right. I thought that it was a movie that didn't hold true to the original movie, right? And granted, most of them don't, right? Even Jurassic Park 2 gets weird, Jurassic Park 3 gets weirder, but no, it doesn't get weirder actually. Jurassic Park 3 kind of makes more sense than Jurassic Park 2 because they're on an island, you know? Like they just stay on the island with dinosaurs. The recent ones, holy fucking shit, bro. Like Chris Pratt I don't know. I, I don't want to say that I don't like the dude as an action movie star, but I don't like the dude as an action movie star, yeah. you know? And Jur what made Jurassic Park 1 so cool was to me is that you are putting doctors and people that are experts in a field against a situation that you would want those type of people to deal with, you know? Mm -hmm. As soon as you bring in military people and everything becomes about shooting and kill the dinosaurs, it's like, let's monetize the dinosaurs, let's clone motherfuckers. I have a question though. Yeah, is that don't not... stop going to so oh, much. To so the, yeah. Um, Is that not how it would be in real life? What? Like, if that were to happen right now, is that not what would happen? If the government would get involved, the military no, would they shoot wouldn't them. let it get to where it ever gets in the movie, in in these recent movies. Okay. It would be what it was in one, two, and three. That's why that's why it makes those movies better. Because here's the thing: 
once you start to go fantastical in something that was grounded in reality, it becomes a thing of how fantastical are you going to get to the point where even the conversations that are being had seem so silly. Yeah. You know? I agree. So silly. It's like, who's talking about this yeah. stuff? You know? And then two women... Uh, there's a group of like eight people in the movie at some point, a lot, and then they gotta split up to do something, a lot. And the two women that have both of their lovers right there, their uh, action men, decide to go by themselves and not take the action men with them. We're gonna no, we're gonna team up. Like it's a a happy woman moment. It's like, yeah, but that doesn't make like the, women yeah, because... that are smart in this situation. You know what they would do? Not that. Yeah. They wouldn't do that. You're making them look dumb. Like, yeah. it all happy. It's like dumb. Right? That's just dumb. <laughs> you know? Like, let's do, like, the character's yes. justice or art. Like, you want to yay women? Like, do it better than that. You yeah, know? they could all be in a group and the women could be the star of whatever happens. They solve the action. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone was a caricature of a caricature of what a real person would be. You ruined it. You yeah. ruined it. You ruined it, you know? Ruined it. Like, so terrible. So terrible. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, I, 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, I was thinking in my head, we should leave. Mm -hmm. And I c continued thinking that until I convinced myself, this is just a piece of shit. Try to enjoy it for what it is. And, you know, I couldn't. I fell asleep. Yep. So it was good on my end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know Jurassic World, Jurassic Part Two, The Lost World. I didn't mind as much the craziness because it was still contained within a within an island a lot. And then where they went crazy is that they took a, a the T Rex to San Francisco, and then the T Rex gets loose in San Francisco, and that's like the craziness part. But even that felt grounded within like, some okay. sort of weird reality yeah and then you know you i think that's the point because i think motherfuckers to... rally controlling <clears throat> i want the chris pratt to go in front of a lion existing you know predator and i gotta see you gonna die <laughs> you going like this to something that just kills people hold on there girl yeah. It's like, how motherfucker, will you leave all down there, girl? The fuck? This motherfucker, era. and the cowboy scene, he's riding a horse in the beginning, right? And him and the, the, the head of the horse are not in sync. Like, the CGI is so terrible in this movie. Terrible. I was just playing Uncharted, and it looked better than that. Yeah. Movie came out yesterday. Uncharted came out five years ago. Like, how is that, like, literally cartoony looking shit? Where Jurassic Park 1 was famous because the practical effects. And you don't, like, t ruin the whole fucking thing, man. If I have a kid, I'm going to tell him that there's only three Jurassic Parks. There's not six. Oh, but dad, they told me about Jurassic World. Demi that doesn't exist in my house, motherfucker, okay? <laughs> Don't be talking about that shit here. Huh? Don't say that again to me. Uh, okay, Damn, dad. you hated that movie <laughs> so bad. Don't you hated that movie so that bad. Ya estás regañando el niño que no existe. I'm just saying, man. That shit is terrible. Oh my it ruined God. it, right? It ruined it. Jesus, you get it so passionate make, it about it. It doesn't make me feel... Yeah, man, because it's like you're fermenting bullshit. Like, mm. the real real is gone, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a... It's a moment that hasn't happened, and so they're just trying to invent what would happen in that sense and how we as a society would react. So because that hasn't happened yet, it's yeah. like they took it too far. Like, yeah. very unrealistic. Yeah. So it, it, like, it, but in essence, all movies have a fear of ending shit the way that it would end. In real life? Yeah, like like when they're making, like the writers and whatnot, or the studios, they're like, no, you change it. Make it make it not so close to reality because it's gonna, probably going to make people feel uncomfortable. 
You know, you like think so, Junior? I, I think, do. I, I think do. they do it. I, they on test purpose. it. No, I think they test it, and they, you know, they I test feel those like theories. they do it on purpose to. Do you remember the movie Don't Look Up? Yeah. That movie was perfect. Yeah. Until the end, yeah. when they put a millionaire with a rocket and they make it to another planet and they encounter aliens, and you know, the aliens are the ones that, like, it was so good. Mm -hmm. Everything was down to the T. Even the I fantastical see. things were very believable. And then you take them to the, another planet and it's like, yeah. damn, man. Nearly perfect movie. Fucked it up. Why did you do that? Why did you feel the need to do that? And now every single movie, I just mentioned that movie and the mo Dominion. Every single movie has a, a fucking Steve Jobs. In every movie, there's a guy pretending to be Steve Jobs and... Like, what is that? Why do we gotta give so much fucks about Steve Jobs? Why does everyone gotta be a weird tech billionaire motherfucker, you know? Like, why Why do we... What is that? That's what we want people to become? That's what we're showing. Yeah. People that can't have conversations, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. What is that, man? It's true, because what they show us in the movies is... Kind of like how they want us to be, you know. I feel like even like at work, well, not at work. It's more in society. I feel like people want me to be an Oreo. What's an Oreo? An Oreo is a person that's dark on the outside but white on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like you want to fill me up with whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want me thinking, mm -hmm. you know? Like to be a good guy, a good boy. Like you good boy. Yeah, you yes. stay in your place. And no, not really. I don't feel like doing that anymore. You know, I don't feel like doing it's that. It's true, Junior. I don't feel like doing that. And I'm, I'm taking, I'm telling people, letting people know. If you not white, right? But you working for a Fortune 500 company, you have white privilege that you are probably not using. You have the white privilege of calling out. You have the white privilege of taking a vacation whenever the fuck you want. You, you have the white privilege of healthcare that's probably better than the healthcare that you would have if you were just that and not in that company. Take advantages of those white privileges, okay? Don't let them go unforeseen. You feel a little sick today? <laughs> I'm not gonna work. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. I got that shit. Every, a lot of people got that shit and don't use it. Fucking use it, man. Fucking use it. Figure it out. It's not it's not good to to live life, you know, like always just feeling fucked up. Like you work hard, a lot, and then on your days off, you're so tired that you don't want to do nothing. And then by the time you end up starting to feel a little better, it's Monday. What do you mean it's Monday? <laughs> what do you mean your body literally when you go to work on a Monday, your body's like, "What are you doing here right now?" It was so nice yesterday. Why are we here? Every cell in your body is like, stop, motherfucker. <laughs> stop, motherfucker. It's, they're protesting inside of your body to stop doing the action that you're doing. And then you know what the corporations invented to com combat those feelings? Fucking coffee. Because you put a, a coffee in your system and you're like, okay, I'm all right with what's going on on a Monday again. <laughs> it's just like... No, maybe we should all stop drinking coffees on Mondays and Mondays will change. Either a lot of people will die or a lot of people will figure out that they need more happiness. One of the two things, a universal Monday off, everything shuts down, everything. And without preparation, that's the problem, man. Because if, I, if I'm the president and I say tomorrow, everything's going to be closed. Everything today is packed. So it defeats the purpose of tomorrow, everything being closed. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's how everyone is too sad, stupid. I guess maybe if you give people a lot of time. Yeah. Like it, next year, on this day, everything will be closed. Everything. Nothing can open. Yeah. You know? A year in advance. Yeah. Or at least six months. That means no gas station. No, no Starbucks. Yeah, but then no you're going to find those people. Oh, my God. That's the problem. What? 
No, but an, I have an emergency. Figure it I out. I have to go out. No hospitals, no That's nothing. Everything is closed. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll prove ourselves wrong. Because we all are going to think is going to go wrong. And then it'll Where be all right. Where is it that they, ha that they closed during the day? What okay, country? chévere. <laughs> what countries? I think it's Spain, right? Where it's like siestas. Oh yeah, you take a nap. Did we experience that? I didn't experience that. Yeah, it was weird. Not everyone goes to sleep, Riley. I'm not saying <laughs> but that people everyone aren't goes working. To sleep, but there's, but everything was still open. Yeah, but it's it's not like McDonald's people are like oh. No more McDonald's That's for two hours. That's what I'm hours. saying. It's no. not the same thing as what we're talking about. No, it's not that extreme. Okay. No, no, I'm talking about an extreme thing, you know? Everyone can't do nothing. Like, that's craziness. I think it should be for, the like, a certain, um, like, for the most part, just like sun Saturdays and Sundays are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me start over. What are you saying, bro? I know what I'm trying to say. It was a minute deep into <laughs> that long rank fucking sentence, huh? Do you know how uh -huh. our normal weekends are Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. We should just add Monday to that. Yeah. Like, not make it a thing. Some people are going to work. Most people are not going to work. It's going to be, like, another weekend. Yeah. It should be Monday because Fridays are almost like the weekend already. Yeah. You chill on Fridays because Saturday you have off. So you stay up late. You do things. You can plan things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Monday should be part of the weekend. But uh, you know what I'm against? What? Weekend and weekday. Okay. Every day is just a day. Tu me entiendes? You went from saying one day, uh -huh. so that's that's my the way I'm compromising it. Okay, yeah, it can, in my world it's a lot of chaos, and the one in my head too. Sorry, it, I'm gonna be in a garage. I'm gonna be in a garage. Everyone's happy, but in 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 too sorry in less structure. There's too much structure. Too sorry. Everyone knows what they gotta do and what has to happen. It's like. That's not reality. Yeah, but you you need structure. Not having structure is not reality. I know. That's the problem. I know, I know. Because You're everybody not wrong. doesn't think the same. They're not wrong, but I'm just saying, if everyone was, you know, a little bit better, boy, we would all be better. Hey, you said something ahí de la tienda. The stores, no? Oh, my God. The other day, we were driving by, and I saw... A furniture store. Where you say, oh my God, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, wow. Because I just thought about it. Okay. Anyway, can you explain to me why every single furniture store is always going out of business? Because no one needs, <laughs> no one needs that much furniture. You can't. No, if, but if like people that's can't buy actual, houses. What the fuck are they gonna buy furniture for? But that's the actual marketing for it. Yeah, we're closing. There's a lot Why of stores like that. Why can't they just price it at the price they're willing to sell it at? There's a Why lot of stores. Why are they all just going out of business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for 15 years. Yep. <laughs> they had a lot. Like, what is that? They had a lot of inventory. You didn't know. That's why. That's why they they, they know they just bought everything and Let they're me like tell you closing for, in 10 years. For a couple. A couple times they got me, and I'd be like, "Oh shit, they're going out of business. Let me hurry up and and get it, or I, let me get a good deal. I'm gonna get a, you know." Yeah. And then they're there two yeah, years they, later. <laughs> you know, you know something about me. This is how weird yeah. I am. This is how weird and like off kilter I am. Mm -hmm. If I see a business that says going out of business, everything eighty percent off, you wouldn't I, go. I don't want it. You know why? Cause that's why you're going out of business. You're just selling shit. Like mm -hmm. you're going out of business for a reason. I don't want to deal with you. I disagree. I don't, I don't I fuck got, with that shit. No. That's I'm, like the people that knew that Trump claimed bankruptcy. A lot. And it's like they still doing business. With. I'm not doing any more business with you, bro. You a loose cannon. You go, you're gonna you're gonna do something that gonna fuck something when up. When it comes to sales, I disagree because when certain stores are going out of business. No, I like sales. Get, I don't like no. going out of business shit. I like yeah, sales. Yeah, but 
perfect example. Look, I'm wearing this ring right now. Uh -huh. It's a real gold ring. It was on sale. I mean, it was a couple hundred dollars, and I got it for a hundred. That's ridiculous. What like, do you mean? Thinking that that's a good. First of all, I'm gonna ask you a question, and what? don't feel offended. Oh my god. How do you know that that's gold? Because it's stamped. Who stamped it? The gold people? Yeah, but you're not allowed. You can't stamp. Plastic? Yes, you can. No, Junior. Every single toy that I ever had said made in China underneath the right boot. Stamped. All right. I could take it to a jeweler and get it checked. I'm going to just have to take his word for it. I don't fucking know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, How do we know anything gold. is anything? We don't, Junior. We don't. But don't buy something that's not at least stamped. That is real gold. We don't know nothing, huh? No, we don't. Like, I could be, this could be a lie. Like, look, why is a cow called a cow? So they told us. Yeah, but I, want, I don't want to call it cow. What if I call it Coke? You can call it a vaca. That's, who said it's a vaca? Who said it's a Coke? Who said dog? Junior, we didn't make up the language. Yeah, but dog doesn't make sense. I don't know. What the fuck does, like, we when we name animals, we name them by what we hear them do. Like an owl. Oh, oh, sound, oh, owl. <laughs> you know? That's how that motherfucker got that name. You think so? Yeah, dog. Woof, woof. And we, woof, woof. dog. What? That was a, a guy said, so a no. deaf, a nearly deaf guy. <laughs> he oh, hears man. dog on the, woof. Hey, dog. Yeah, hey, dog. Eh? Hey, un normal, man. You know, I wonder yeah. how they came up with the word. I, uh, like, what a dolphin. That's how they do. Wow, what was the first language? Wolf. Woo! <laughs> a wolf goes, oh! Yeah, woo! <laughs> That's how they came up with that name. Woo! Wolf. Yeah! <laughs> That's good, oh yeah. Oh my god. That's how it happens. You got problems. No, think about it. Tell me, a cat. A cat should be called the meow. Whatever we tell little babies to call the that's a meow meow. That's what the meow meow, <laughs> but you shouldn't say that. You should say the word. Cat. But what the? That's a cat. If a cat tells a, a cat. <laughs> ah. If my kid asks me, why is it named cat and not meow? I'll be like, listen, son. I don't you understand. You literally say, I didn't make up I don't, the language. Yeah, but that's stupid to tell the kid. And Why? the kid's going to be like, oh, so we can't, like, make up our own language? What am I, who am I to tell this kid that he can't make up his own you language? You can tell him he can. <laughs> this motherfucker grows nobody's up. Nobody's going to understand. 21 him. years old. That's a meow meow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's a cat. No, meow meow. <laughs> I mean, oh, to man. live in this society, you gotta follow the society rules. They told us it's cat. Or it's I don't agree. A cat should be called a meow. A dog should be called a rough. A uh, rough? Yeah. But wait. Why uh, not? We all have different <laughs> pronunciations of the sounds. That's all. Well, we all come to an agree on what we, you know, what's we vote on it. Okay. What's the one? We should vote on changing the name of animals. A cow, a cow is a moo. moo. What about a horse? Oh. <laughs> That's hard to say. Or a neigh. <laughs> yeah, a neigh is good. That's a neigh. A horse neigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see? The fuck we calling a fucking little animal that goes rough a, a fucking dog? What's a bloop? What? What's a bloop? Bloop, bloop. I don't know. I don't know. What's a bloop? A this piece is, of shit? I don't know. This is why they're not called by their What sound. is it? A fish. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> That's not what a fish sounds like. What does a fish sound like? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just swimming. A fish throws bubbles, and when the bubbles go to the top, it sounds like bloop. It doesn't work for fish and shit. <laughs> it only works for land animals. Okay? Okay. What's a bird? Whatever sound it makes. There's many names of birds. A chirp. The one that can be a chirp, you know, is what they chirp like, whatever. Okay, we're done with this game. It's like I walk. <laughs> it's over. 
I don't gotta continue with that shit. Diablo, que este no parece un psycho killer, este cabrón. Yes. Diablo, he just killed someone who's going to kill someone, man. He got them dead face, you know? People that look dead in the face. Uh -uh. He hasn't lived in many years. Mm -hmm. There's people like that, that, you see their faces and you're like, you're not living, man. Mm -hmm. You're just not living, that's sad. <laughs> I'm not even laughing at you. Oh, shit! You were protected, man. I haven't gotten comfortable at all. Oh no, man, what happened? Damn. I was so excited to stir the coffees and have cookies, kids. <laughs> do you get stuck? Yeah. <laughs> you do get stuck a lot in, in like moments. You gonna get, I don't know how to move out of this situation. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get stuck. Oh, it feels nice. That's the idea. People wonder, like, <laughs> what happened? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Tell me. <laughs> People, you know, uh -huh. they wonder. Yeah. Like, how does how do men show love a lot, and then women don't understand a lot? Men show love by working. 18 hours within 24 hours and then still agreeing to take your wife to the beach drive three hours down and four hours back and then you know they still don't get it that's how you show love as a guy who doesn't get it huh who doesn't get women. it? women what do you mean women you don't get it you should be rubbing my feet today. You, you uh, today I, I should have a lot of things. I should have woken up today for massage automatic, like no questions asked. I did. I made coffee. I washed the dog. I asked you to make it. I went and got you your hair stuff. Yeah. I left you alone the entire day. Probably. What? We agree. I very much appreciate and accepted your love for uh, me. I guess what I'm and saying I is, reciprocated. yeah, that you should give me a full massage. That's, that's, it. that's what you say. That's, that's it. what you say. Yeah, you're trying to ask me for a full that's massage. That's it. That's um, it. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Wait, say that. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Cause don't don't say that I don't acknowledge or appreciate you. That bien, I want a foot massage. Okay, okay boy. Well, hey. That's what massage. you gotta my say. My feet hurt. Okay. I've been on my feet too long. All right. It hurts. Mm hmm. You know what I noticed lately? No. What did you notice? Tell me. Because we do a lot of takeout now, right? Yeah. Every single one of the receipts has. No, All it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What do you mean? That not every receipt has the phone number. It's the yes, Shake it Shack ones. No, Junior. It's the Shake Shack I look one. at every single receipt because I shred them. Está bien, pero there's a difference. Shake Shack just put us on a puts it on a shelf and lets everyone see everyone it. Everyone fucking see it. Your name, wait your phone number. If you want, if you're a stalker and you don't know how to get a girl's number, wait till she orders Shake Go Shack. Go to Shake Shack and stand there, and you'll see her number. Yep. Right? that is crazy. Shake Shack needs to change that That's, shit, bro. I feel like all the the companies need to stop that. The other day I followed a guy, man. I got his number and I've been fucking with him all every day. <laughs> you can't call him. Yeah, you yeah, should. Like, you I shred. Do that. I shred my receipts now because then it also shows the last four of your credit card. Yeah, it has your phone number. If it was delivery, it has your address on it. Yeah. Now you take that, you throw it in the trash. Let's say it, you know, or it flies somewhere. People can grab it. You see receipts lying around That's all why the time. I burn like, all my receipts. I literally shred mine. I burn it's all of like, them. What the hell? I burn out. Ain't no creep going to get my information. Mm -hmm. Wind up in my doorstep. If you have a situation where you need the customer's phone number, go into your computer system. Like, it's 2022. Yeah. You have all that in your computer. There's a problem. You got to call the customer. Go in there. Look up the order. Call the customer. That shit don't need to be on the fucking receipt like that. Yeah. I'm passionate about that. We don't need receipts. Mm. That's another thing. We don't need receipts. We should be stop wasting paper. It, it, it should thing. be electronic. Why the point. fuck do we still have notebooks and shit mm. and pencils? Killing fucking trees. I, I like notebooks they... though. Nah, yeah. bro. Yeah, but we can buy notebooks as adults as something that you might need. I don't know for what the fuck. We right? use notebooks every day. In school. They shouldn't have notebooks anymore. No, school no. Imagine. Do they? Yes. Who? The kids. 
they use computers. Nah, right? still, there's still a big well, notebook some, culture. Still big notebook. We need to stop cheaper. it. We and need actually, to stop it. It's, it's not, not cheaper. In the long run. And in, for the world, it's more expensive. What? What is, uh, the fuck? You know, <laughs> like if if I'm sending my kid to a private school, my Ella. Junior, they have. If you're going to private school, you have laptops. This is what I'm saying. So the public schools are the problem, and that's because the government must have some sort of fucking thing with the trees, and they getting money from cutting down the trees and selling paper, bro. It has nothing to do with that. I'm sure it does. No, it has yeah, to do. Yeah, there's some weird contracts there. People that run. Who's the owner of the lumber in the in America? Why don't we know these people's names? Why aren't we worried about these motherfuckers cutting down more trees? No one gives a fuck about that, but everyone knows Elon Musk. Go to the fucking moon and get over it. Ve tanta mierda con este Elon Musk, ah? Cabrón, he wants to be an alien so bad. Leave. Like, it's like he wants to be an alien. He wants to be weird. He wants to be from Mars. He don't want to go there. He, he wants to literally come out one day. I've been over there. That's where I'm from. I just came here to fuck around with y'all. Amber Heard. Well, fuck you. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. It's like, just go then. Why don't you just go? Like I'm sure this like people want to glorify so many people. That's what we were talking about that yesterday about elogial, which is glorifying, like like seeing people as something big, you know? Yeah. And I don't see anyone as anything big. Like I can respect a person's work, but at the end of the day, you still gotta go take a shit, bro. Like you gotta like think about someone that you admire, Ella. Yeah. Think about I don't know. Give me a name. Tell me. J -Lo. Think about Bendito J Lo, man. J Lo gotta take a shit too, bro. She at some point J Lo with all her sass and all her uh, pizzazz, beautiful woman, but she gotta sit down on the toilet and make a push. Like we all humans, so whatever the fuck a person did or whatever they did, like still a human being. You telling me like, oh, Johnny Depp and, and, and oh, I'm going to listen to because uh, he has a record coming out. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I never heard Johnny Depp playing the guitar, a song of Johnny Depp. And I was like, oh, I'm going to listen to uh, the fucking vampire uh, band that he has. It's like, what? First of all, if you, I'm not listening to no people that think they vampires, you know, like you ain't really one. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not doing you it. You want to be one? Why wouldn't you listen yeah, to Yeah, because they play... I seen Johnny Depp in the light. He's not a vampire. Mm. You go out during the day. I don't believe it. Mm. You know? Never plays... Well, he did play a vampire in a movie. I was about to say. But yeah, I'm not... I'm not I'm not like that. I don't think it's good to, you know, see anyone like that. You I know? guess. I don't know. I, I admire people. I It's okay to admire think, them, yeah. you know, but for what something that they but not do. not to idolize them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, I don't give a fuck. I do admire I admire a, I think a lot more people than you do and oh, then for I sure. And then, you know, that makes me look into them more. And if I just happen to look into someone more, I know more about them or their interests or their projects. And I pay more attention to that. Yeah, Not we, that I'm out there looking for it, but I put myself in situations, aka I follow certain things that show me more of that. So yeah. then I just know more, you know, about that or about them. But that's not to say that I, you know, idolize them in such a way that I forget they shit just like I do. Who do you think has more abortions? Poor people or rich people? Rich people. Ain't that crazy? But you never see these motherfuckers protesting out there. Protesting what? For abortions. For abortions? Yeah. No, they protest against them. Yeah. Shouldn't it be the other way around? I say abortions just Well, because do it. they wouldn't... It wouldn't affect them in any way. Even if it was against the law, they would still be able to do it. Yeah. But it, I think it's funny that it's the people that are against abortions, mm -hmm. right? And they're the ones that create the shitty jobs. So mm -hmm. that right there lets you know they want people to... They want the not successful without means people to be more of them. 
so that they could take advantage of them. Yeah, you don't even have to go as far as, as the shitty jobs. Just the other day, there was a baby formula shortage. Yeah. They don't even care that the babies are getting fed or not getting fed. They yeah. just want you to have them. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You don't have to wait until they're old enough to work. They don't yeah. care even about the jobs. They don't even care about when they're born. The medical bill to have a baby. Crazy. I mean, how do, how can you do that as a, you know, as a less fortunate person that doesn't have access to, to shit like that? Yeah, so abortions. Just do it. Emma, Nike should come out with that slogan. And oh, they, that would be a they, talk. They do. They, they do. would never. Nike should just come out a lot. You see, uh, I got the Nike commercial right here. The woman's running a lot. And all of a sudden, you see what happened uh, at the three weeks ago a lot. And she was at a club and she's running and she's thinking about that situation. She was at a club. She met a guy and they, you know, had a great night, ended up having unprotected sex a lot. And then she she was supposed to have her period in a, the following week and hasn't had it. It's week three now. And this morning she took a pregnancy test and you see that it came out positive. She put on her clothes and now you're right there with her running and she's running and you don't know where she's running. And then she stops in front of an abortion clinic. You see the sneakers, right? And you see her looking at the abortion, at the abortion clinic. And then abortion, Shh, just do it. Nike. Bro, que clase campaign. Que clase never, campaign. They wouldn't, man. They would never, ever, Empiezan ever. la gente de, de Minnesota. Oh, no, no de Minnesota, God. de Alabama. They throw all the Nikes. They're dumbasses. Oh the God. Nikes that they paid 120 bucks for, they're going to throw they it in a, in a dumpster and burn it on fire. They would never do that. I think it's a good it's a good thing for Nike. Maybe in like a hundred years. If the company lasts that long. Yeah. I just I just honestly think like it's an option, especially for someone that doesn't want it. You know? I think if like, someone is considering one, like it's, it's Yeah. You know what it's I'm something saying? to be talked about. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Regardless of the reason why. Yeah, and then the people that don't... The people that are against abortion, none of them are foster parents or those mm -hmm. are people... <laughs> Yeah, they just, but this is what I'm saying because you know, nobody cares. Like if Angelina, if Angelina here. Jolie, Angelina Jolie comes out tomorrow and says, <laughs> "I'm against the bush," I'd be like, "Okay, yeah, you, you don't should, want your baby, you, give it to me." You should be the ambassador, <laughs> yes, yeah, of that cause. Yeah, Angelina Jolie is the ambassador of don't the, the, the anti pro life, pro life. Pro -life. Yep. Angelina Jolie, she'll take them. <laughs> you, you don't want it, I'll take it. And that's, that's great. By the know, time she died, wanna... she had like 300 kids. It's all of them well sense. off, making <laughs> movies, you know? <laughs> she made a whole different fucking, you know, like, she made a whole different city just by, you know, supporting these kids and making, like, putting them in that industry. Everyone's doing great. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine what you could do with those resources. And people have them, and they don't do it. Yeah, so I'm do. just saying, that's the realities of life. So when it comes to abortion, just do it if you got to do it. It is what it is. We shouldn't be bringing any more people here to suffer. That's, that's a word, man. That's the reality. Yeah, because it's easier to suffer than it is to be happy. Yeah, if you're going to bring someone here, make sure you could give them, you know, a reasonable lifestyle. Give them opportunities. Solve their, their their problems for them. If you can't do that, don't do it. I don't know. That's 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 another thing, right? Because when you're deciding these things, like I feel like it's also like the same kind of scenario when you decide that you have to go to therapy. Like for a person to decide, like, oh, I don't like me. I don't like a lot about me, so I got to change me. That's when you say, I got to go to therapy. So you have, to, like, it's such a mind fuck of a yeah. thing. Like, I don't like who I am. You got to admit to yourself. I got to be someone different. I can't be me. I've been this me for 30 years, and now I want to be different. That's 
that's hard. So good luck. Yeah. It's not easy. I'm going to counter that because another reason to go to therapy is because something happened. I got calm. Because something happened and you admit to yourself that you need help dealing with it. So it's not necessarily that you don't like something about yourself. Yeah, well, I'm not talking about those people. I know. You always talk about someone else. I'm talking about the people that I'm talking about. I know. You talk about some other segmented fucked up group. <laughs> I like my group, all right? I'm just saying. I like the people that are self-conscious that want to change themselves in order to be better to be people. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the people that you're talking what about, do you by mean? the way. The people that I'm talking about, if you need to get help, that's important to be able to yeah, recognize yeah, yeah, that fuck you need you help. Too. Yeah. You know? I yeah. think that's good. But yeah, you're right. It's true. You got to be like me, Mo. I don't yeah. like you, me, Mo. Yeah. Let's, let's change that. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a crazy um, concept in general But it's Imagine Where did it start When did the first person Look at themselves and, and was like Listen It wasn't that way You know what way it was Someone else told the person Listen yeah, You I shouldn't think. like yourself mm -hmm. You need to change <laughs> I'm gonna change you Come with me <laughs> Tell me what made you who you are. Oh, because this happened to me. Well, that, it's okay that that happened to you, but you should still be normal. It's like, what? Yeah, it's okay that whatever happened to you, and now you should be normal. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. It's, it's, you see, I was going in one direction, and then I started getting mad thinking about it, how people always want to fucking change me. And it's like, no, motherfucker, I'm okay. You leave, I am me. There has to be one me. A lot, but this is it. Congratulations, you met me. Leave me the fuck alone. Eh? I am who I am. No me venga joder decirme que I'm always wrong, that the way that I act is wrong. No, the world is wrong, and that's how I became who I am, and this is who I am now, and you got to deal with it, okay? If you didn't want to deal with it, you, your forefathers, and the forefathers of those forefathers should have made it a better place for all of us, okay? And maybe my people should have struggled a little bit more and fought for a little bit more for what they believed in, but they didn't. So, I'm still me. I'm trying to be that person that fights for us. So, you can shut the fuck up, and I am me. That's who I am. Why is it para cara otro mundo? These people are always telling you, oh, you need to talk a certain way. You need to act a certain way. It's like, oh, everyone wants you to make money, a lot. And then once you make money, you're supposed you're supposed to stop being who you were when you didn't have any money. Now you need to be like the rest of the people that have money. And it's like, no, I just wanted the money to be even more like me. So fuck you, eh? Tu me entiende? Bafango, you motherfucker, <laughs> me entiende? No me importa tres carajo. Oh, this is, cost three hundred dollars a play. Okay, I got five. Suck my dick and I want to eat it right now. Me <laughs> I got five. You're going to shut the fuck up and you're going to give me the food. I'm going to come presentable. You know why? Because this is how I just am because I got the money. But I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to say to you. Bafangu, give me the fucking thing. Even when you didn't, you dressed nice. What? You said I'm going to dress like this because I have the money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even if when you didn't have money, you still dressed nice. This is true. Not as nice, but... No, but for what you were able to. Yeah, but I'm, I just get mad that people, you know... But that's what I'm saying. That's who you are. So with money or without money, you're still going to go as presentable as you can. Yes. Because that's who you are. I just hate it when, you know, you're put into a, a social class, you know, based on... Like, it's not even morality or ethics or, you know, characteristics of, you know, like, personality. It's more of a classes thing. Like, how much money you make determines who you're with. We're right there. Tamo ahí. Tamo ahí. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like... This is crazy, man. How society is set up. I got them. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up and... When I say when I was growing up until I was like 22, I thought that whenever I saw a reversible jacket, it would be, this is like thievery clothes, you know? <laughs> like if you're going to rob a place, this is what you wear. Or if you're like a, like to get away from the police, what's the best jacket to have? A reversible, a reversible one. one. 
-hmm. You cross the corner, you change the jacket, what? You, you're a different person now. Mm -hmm. I never thought that it could be like, oh, different temperatures or different look. For me, I know it's just to get away. That's a good one. I never thought about that. That shows where our brains are at. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of dumb shit, obviously. Uh, though, yeah. I feel like that goes back to what we said earlier. Yeah, but I don't say them. You do and say a lot of dumb shit. Nah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Imagine all the ones that I keep quiet and, uh -huh. because you think I say a lot of them. Wait. I feel like I don't say them. I'm sure there's a lot more that you can say, but you do say and do enough dumb shit. If you could be alive at any time point, any time frame, any era, which one do you think you would be happy in? Ya lo tiene esos labios bien glossy, man. Wow. <laughs> like you just ate a, like a fat chuleta and grasenta, bro. Wow, man. Me look kissable. No, no, you don't no. like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't think anyone does. I don't care. I do. That's fine. No, your lips look nice. Yeah. Don't get, but it doesn't look like oh, kiss me. It feels nice too. Anyway, people don't agree. What? A lot of people like to kiss that juicy lips. Yeah, but it's like juice, like juicy, not you know, like like you just drank a juice. <laughs> it's not <laughs> that what they mean, you know. I think you have that definition fucked up. Um. I don't know. Um, I mean, I loved the 90s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But, like, one that like I wasn't would, a part of, let me think. That's what you would know, but you loved the 90s. You were a kid. You I know, but I'm saying. You the 90s for real? I, yeah, maybe as this Oh, so age. you would be a kid? No, no, no. As this age, maybe the 90s. Oh, okay. Or, like, really? a teenager in the 90s. Really? It's probably better. Okay. Um, but I that's be, because I don't know too much about other eras. I would be the future. There's no era that has passed where someone that was like me or looked like me would have a better life than I do now. So I would rather go to the future. I didn't even know that was an option in what you asked me. What era? Future era. That's an okay. era. Okay. I didn't even know that. Ah, boy, well, you gotta I mean, think. You gotta think about it. I gotta go to the future too. Bro. You're a very like color outside the box type of person. Yeah, you put me. In, I I would I go the future. Two hundred years from now. That's where. I, that's 200? when I went. Two hundred. Wow, we like won't if, even be alive in that point. That's that's the point. I know. The fuck I'm we wanna saying, be alive when I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, we're not even gonna know what life is like. Now, see, you didn't know what life was like when you got here, neither. You're just adapting to whatever it is. Yeah. That's all we do. It keeps changing. Yeah, we just adapt. I we're know, the ones but, changing it, though. Yeah, but if you think back, you could see the change. But we're not even going to be able to think back to this point from that point because we're not even going to be around in that point. And that's crazy to think about. Yeah. Because we're all going to be dead. Who's dead? Oh, us. we are, yeah. Unless well, maybe you not. we come back. No, unless you, you think that we can not make, like, make not it to die. not die. Yeah. They just cured cancer. They just cured cancer. Okay, that's the that's what happens in I Am Legend in the I Am Legend movie. Mm -hmm. They cure cancer and then everyone starts to become a fucking zombie. Así que pendiente, Armageddon coming soon. Mm -hmm. That coming, coming, yeah, that's the next thing. Armageddon. Anyway, yeah. What's the next thing? Armageddon. What is that? How it starts to end. The world. Yeah. How does it start to end? I don't know. I don't think the world will ever end. Maybe we um, do, but the world doesn't. Like human beings? Yeah. You think so? You don't think we'll always be around? I don't think we want to be human anymore. Um, Who the fuck wants to be human? Like, if I told you, listen, you could be alive forever, right? Within a computer world. Forever. 
like literally forever. This is how we have it set up. It's set up that, you know, it's always running with the circulation of the world. It's heated by the the, the world's core. It, there's very little electricity needed. The program is AI that's forever learning and forever expanding, just like the universe. You can live in this thing forever as a non-human. You won't have a it's specific human form. You can make it up if you want to in there. Who's not gonna choose that versus this? Like, can I have a family in there? Yup. Like, make it up in our consciousness. Yeah. Oh, and can I make it so that I just come back to life? Like, I can live a whole life, get old, and then come back. Yup. You can do that if you want. Maybe that's what we're doing right now. I don't think so. This is. I wouldn't make this shit up. This is boring. <laughs> <laughs> like. If I made up this world and this is where I'm at in it, motherfucker, wake up. Like, <laughs> get out. Like, dun, 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 dun. get out. Yeah, no, do something. Like, Change it. Oh my it. gosh, the show we were watching. Change it. What's the show? Huh? Where their minds, um, when they go to work, they have like a trip in Oh, their Severance. Head. Severance. Yeah. Like a version of Severance. You're like trying to tell your other self to like. Yeah, that show's wake up. great. See how how it actually ends. Is there a new season coming out? Next year, yeah. Like it's confirmed. Yeah, Ben Stiller's back. Mm. He's the one that directed and made it. He was in it. Oh, in the beginning. What are you talking about? Ben Stiller. He directed it. Well, what do you mean he's back? To direct it. Oh, who was the one that died in the beginning? I don't know. Is that a spoiler? I don't know what you're talking about. Who dies? Oh, point. I know who dies. Yeah, Chip. Chip. Chip was his best friend. Yeah. He doesn't die in the beginning. He dies in like episode three. Oh. It's but a good show. That wasn't the actor. That's a um, spoiler. You can cut that out. <laughs> I'm going to get more tattoos. I feel like... Yeah, you told me, oh, I'm gonna, you're, I'm not gonna be home when you get home. I was like, okay, what are you doing? You're like, oh no, I don't want to tell you. And I was like, okay. And then you're like, be safe. And I'm like, what is that? Yeah, okay. Like, just what? as long as you're safe. And I was like, whoa, what does that mean? <laughs> like, do I gotta be strapped for what I'm about to do? Give me my pistol, you know? Like, be like. I didn't know what you were have gonna safety do. with you. Yeah. It's like, whoa, what does that mean, be bro? Safe. Damn, I, f I literally felt like I needed a gun. Like, oh, what? what was happening? Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then you came home and I had gotten a package. I got a new mirror yeah. and I took it out of the box and I was so excited to show you. So I brought you into the room and I'm showing you my new mirror and you're like, what's that? And I'm like, what? Like, I thought something was on my mirror. Like, yeah. I'm like, what is what? And you're like that. And you showed me and I, I looked at it and I was like, oh, Oh, okay. And you're like, and this one. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how she is. I know. But it's true. When I thought about it, it's very you. Yeah. Um, and then even if in the future, like, it does, it's not you anymore, it was you. That's what I was getting at. So. Tattoos. It, yeah. It, it just. Like, when I look at my tattoos, I always remember there's a story. Yeah. Even if there isn't a story to what the tattoo is, there's a story on how you time, got the tattoo. The time, yes. It. It's that like That time a, of your life. It's like marking a specific moment in your life. It's therapy. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, we all do that in different ways. No, it, it, it serves as a therapeutic moment when you look at it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Leave him alone. I mean, I didn't know. Even if he wasn't, what does it matter? Obviously, he's not right. What do you? What's wrong? Yeah, if he's if he's okay and what if some, he then take he's out not a gun okay? Or put something in there, you know? Oh, you're right. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be pendiente when people doing weird shit. You're right. If it turns out it's a tuturu, we okay, do. that's all right, Ooh, tuturu. You, you keep on doing tuturu. But uh, it turns out it's a crazy person about to do something. I'll run his ass over. No, we'll run away. No, I'm running him over. If he had a gun in his hand, you're I'm driving him over. towards him? I'm going to run him over. With a gun in his hand? I'm going to run him over. Yes. If I see a person with a gun in their hand about to enter somewhere 
And, oh, and I thought I, he was pointing it to us. No, what the fuck? Even and if he is pointing it to us, I'm still running his ass over. I'm just saying, if someone was pointing a gun at us, I would hope that you would drive away. Oh, hey. <laughs> We're running his ass over. That's what's happening. We ain't gonna let him figure out wherever we're gonna go to, too. Okay. We're killing him, right? It's you and me. It's gonna be you. I'm gonna take you out. Okay. And if I'm in a car, I'm running you over. Okay. I see anyone with a gun that's not supposed to have a gun that I deem is not supposed to have a gun in the it's middle of the street. It's not even just about I'm running them it. over. It's about pointing it and about to shoot. Like don't, about to I don't, use it. Whatever it is, I'm no, running you over. No, because there are states that you, it's open carry. Like, I'll you run you be, over too, no, Tambi. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you can open and carry all you want in the middle of the road. In my no. way, you can't open and carry nothing. <laughs> I'm going to run you over. That's what it is. Okay. carajo, aquí que está el pendiente. I'm just saying, there's people you could carry, you know, whatever. But and, you and, see someone and you know what? Like you know that. what can happen in any state? What? You can get your ass run over. <laughs> <laughs> That's in any state you can get your ass run over, okay? As he okay. get you open and carry, you might get run over. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It might be me, might not. Might be another person <laughs> that feels exactly like me. I'm just saying. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. Wasn't this supposed to be over by now? Um, oh, yeah, what are we eating? Your tattoos. We can oh, ta I'm getting another tattoo. Oh my soon, God. coming soon. That if this one turns out how I think it will, it'll definitely be my coolest design tattoo yet. Oh, you told me. Yeah, I think this one's still pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I think this one's still pretty cool. Like, I like, I like, I like everything that's going on here. You know, I like this one. I love this one too. This whole thing is like, I see this as a, as kind of like a weapon of sorts. Like, like back True. in, no, no. <laughs> yes, but no, like back in the day, you know, it used to be a thing where certain, um, I think it was Indian cultures. They would like tie a blade. The native cultures? No, Indian, like in India, like in India, they would, you know, I think that's. That's pretty cool. All right, what is our our word for the word day? Of the day is cappuccino. Cappuccino. You gotta say cappuccino. You gotta leave cappuccino in the comments in the comments below so that we know that you made it to the end of this. And we appreciate episode. it that you made it here. And we do. And if, if you, you fast forward, it, fuck you. And if you but leave, I still got the view. <laughs> and if you leave cappuccino in the comments, we might shout you out in the next episode. No, we will. No, but what if more than one person comments it? We will. We could say a lot of names. I could say names all day. Okay. I thought it was nice to make it special. Yeah, it's special to anyone that makes it here. Okay. If 25 yeah, people make it Yeah, but what if people are just here, in the co comments and they just want to write what other people write? Then they tricked us, and that's fine. Okay. Fool me once, though. But how are you going to know? If you do it all the time, they're going to do it all the time. No, I won't be the same people again. Okay. Like, the, who, who was the person for today? Whatever. We might. Who was the, Henry Gomez. Henry Gomez. You write cappuccino and no one's saying your name again. We might. We might. But oh, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded better in my head. We might forget who That's you were by then. Saying. We might say your name. Yeah, we we're might gonna not. say a name. It might be yours. No, we'll say every name that's new. Okay. The How are we gonna know if it's new? I'm not gonna keep track. We'll remember. Whatever. We're thank counting you so on our memories. Regardless, thank you for getting to the end of our episode. Fuck off. And that's a wrap. Stay brown. Get rid of that frown. Brown is shit. Mm-hmm.